Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Um, any questions as to what it is that I do, services that I provide, any information on Patreon, and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. Alrighty, Pisces, this is your monthly reading. We're going to go ahead and focus our energy on the candle and water. Um, what else is there for you, Pisces? Um, <clears throat> I feel that you guys have have been very busy manifesting a lot of you um getting a lot of the uh getting a lot of wish fulfillment or at least that is the energy that is coming in for june if it hasn't already occurred for you so once you have all of these things like manifested in your life and you have all of these things that are you know just kind of everything seems to be going like in a good direction in a good way so you're kind of wondering like like how many more blessings are gonna come? Like what what else can I what else can I ask for if I feel contempt, I feel happy, I am I love where my life is at the moment. And you know, as you go ahead and you reflect on, on the things that that you had to overcome, those challenges and things like that. It's like you're in the space of really just being very grateful and really, um, really trying as um, as hard as you can to stay within that 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 feeling or that moment. Well, what else is coming? If you're currently not in a connection, a romantic connection, well, love is coming. And a lot of offers of love, a lot of opportunities of love um, are coming. And you're going to have to make a choice as to who it is that you are going to move forward with. There are a few, not just one, there are a couple of people, a few people, not a couple, a few, at least three or four people from your past. Um that whether they were friends or whether they were actual romantic partners that are coming um, around to offer you love as well as at least one or two new people um, new love interest so you wanted to know what else hmm. what else is there well the only other thing that's there right now is having to make a choice as to who you're going to give your love to who are you going to build with who are you going to grow with now during that time do not feel pressure do not feel like you have to rush to make a decision um even though as the offers are made you already know deep down and in, into intuitively at least and in your heart you know who you're going to give your cup to and you know that, let's say, even if it is somebody from the past or whatever it is, it's like whatever, it's like a clean, clean slate. Everything is starting from, everything is starting fresh. Everything is starting new. So regardless of whether you choose somebody from the past or you choose somebody new, you know that this connection or this relationship is going to move forward and it's going to grow. And the foundation that you are starting it in is in order to give it that opportunity or that chance to grow. Some of you, it is somebody definitely from the past that you're going to reconnect with. Um, when it comes to uh, what else is going on in your life or what else can happen, um, there is a, like a flood of of blessing um, abundantly um, when it comes to financial when it comes to health if you have been struggling recently with your health um, that is kind of gonna like take a it's gonna take a shift like for the better things are going to start feel you're gonna start feeling physically better and being able to um, stay in a, in a space of where you continuously feel physically like God and physically just <sighs> I'm healthy I'm wealthy um, whatever it is that you that you are at the moment and it's like part of you 
even if you have some desires and things like that, you're trying like not to ask for them because you're trying not to be greedy. And you can't be greedy. All the blessings that are coming your way, you deserve, Pisces. So, you know, don't ever feel bad because you have so much or because you're willing, you're able to manifest so much that you feel that you shouldn't ask for more. And it's because of that, that humility within you, that, that, that humbleness that you have of not wanting to ask for more is why more is being given to you, is why more is being um, gifted to you at this moment. There's a lot, a lot coming in your way. Some of it may make you feel a little like overwhelmed, like, okay, this is like way too much coming in. But, you know, just, just take, again, with whatever offers are coming in, um, especially with love and if offers of like business opportunity or anything like that, or the opportunity presents itself to um, purchase something big, like a house or a car, um, don't rush to make a decision. There is no need at this moment for you to rush because it's kind of like you are in control of the timeline, if that makes sense, that you're in. So you're in control. So whether you take a day or a week to make the decision, it's not going to change like the outcome of it, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like time is slowing down for you to make the best decision <clears throat> that your own, excuse me, <clears throat> Like time is slowing down so that you're able to make the like the best decision for you that intuitively is trying to come through. Where you're not going to have any doubts um, or any regrets once your decision is made. Someone sees you as... As, as like as a star as somebody that that they want to get to know as somebody that they want to be um they want to be a part of your life they want to be a part of your group or a part of your clique or your friends or whatever it is but there's somebody here that oh, excuse me that really admires you and really wants to um spend time with you and they want to learn from you too this is not this is not from one of the romantic partners so this is like um, somebody that just really, really admires you and really feels that you have a lot to um, to give to the world or to teach the world, if that makes sense. When it comes to making the decision about love, it, it's, it's going to be a close close call, let's say, between two people. Um, but again, I feel that once the offers are made, your unconsciously anyways, your decision is made automatically because there is somebody that holds, that holds your heart and there's going to be no question about it, about restarting a connection with this person. There's someone here that, <clears throat> excuse me, there's someone here that's in, into like mythical um, characters like mermaids and, and things like that. Or somebody that really likes like seahorses for some reason. Um, or somebody that just really, really, really loves the ocean and wants to spend more time near water. It's like you feel like the water, like the ocean is calling you. And it, I, it, I don't know if it's like you have to take like a day off from work or the ocean is too far from you and you're questioning whether you, you should take, you know, time off or whatever to go and travel towards the ocean. But it's like regardless of anything, when it comes to making that decision in regards to love, the you know, the offers that are coming in, I feel that near water um, or like, like near the ocean or like, you know, sitting on the sand or whatever is what's going to... Um, if you're able to get into like that type of space is what's going to be able to kind of calm you enough to make make that decision without any hesitation and again without having to look back without having to question your choice 
or maybe just listening to like ocean sounds or whatever it is but there's something that has to do with like either mermaids or um the ocean like it it was seahorses and mermaids that i keep on seeing like swimming but somebody that really 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 enjoys being near the ocean and kind of does like you do but maybe you do your your, your best thinking or you you know the ideas come to you or whatever when you're near water well pisces that is all that i have for you for that we're using the rebel deck the um oracle with attitude um these oracle cards do have cursing so if you're not into that go ahead and click off and thank you for watching for those of you that really do not mind the curse words let's go ahead and pick out an advice card you are loved you are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> get the get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. I feel like this is what you came out of. I feel like because you were able to go within and kind of work on whatever it is that you were supposed to work on or following your intuition and stuff like that you were able to physically get to a point where your body is no longer pissed at you i feel like this is more of like a past energy not an energy that you're currently in this is the energy that you're in or that you're going into well pisces as always thank you for all the love and support and i will see you guys back next month with your monthly um i want to go ahead and send every single one of you love strength and blessing take care guys love ya bye bye